Hi, it's Pastor Nathan. A member of our church asked me a great question the other day. This person came up to me and said, Do, did people in the Bible have last names? It's a great question. In our world today, we're used to identifying people by both a first and a last name. It's especially helpful when people have the same first name. And so you introduce yourself, I'm Nathan Nass. First name, last name. Did they do that in the Bible? Short answer is no. If you read through the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament, you'll notice that people aren't given last names. We hear about Adam and Eve and Abraham and Moses and John and Peter and James, but we're never told what their last names are in the Bible. People don't have last names. But in the Bible times, they did have ways to identify people who had the same names. Just like today, people can have the same first name that's common in the Bible. Um, Zechariah is a name that shows up a number of times in the Old Testament. The name John shows up a number of times in the New Testament. How did they tell people apart if they didn't have a last name? Often what they did was they identified a person based on who their father or even their mother were. And so John in the New Testament, the John who's the disciple of Jesus is called the, the son of Zebedee. That was his name, John, son of Zebedee. He didn't have a last name, but he was identified by who his father was. Same way in the Old Testament for Zechariah the prophet, he's called Zechariah the son of Berechiah. He didn't have a last name, but that was like his last name, Zechariah the son of Berechiah. That's how you could tell him apart. So in Bible times, people didn't have last names, but they were known often by who their, their father or mother or ancestors were. Before we go, I want to remind you that it works the same for you. Here in all culture, you do have a first and last name that makes it easy for people to distinguish you from someone else. But the Bible reminds you that you have a special identity, just like those people in the Bible did. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 says, In Christ Jesus, you are all children of God, through faith. You understand what that's saying? If in the Bible a person's last name was dependent on who their, their father was, the Bible says it's really the same for you. In Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. So when I introduce myself, I could say Nathan Nass, but you know, the Bible's way to say it would be, I could say I'm, I'm Nathan, the, the child of God. Does that have a nice ring to it? You can say the same thing. Through baptism, through faith in Jesus, you're not just your first and your last name. You're your first name, you're who you are, and you're the child of God. What good news from the Bible. God bless your day.